Hi, my name is Ben Falk, and some of you are frustrated with this thing. And uh, so I decided to make a tutorial, a quick tutorial, on how to make sound out of this tube called a crystal flute. Um, I assume that most of you may not have flute background before, so I'm going to start with the basic. So I'm going to maybe five minutes. <laughs> Try to make some noise out of this thing. So, uh, this is mirror image, as you see. And this is my right hand side over, over here. So, this is the flute, crystal flute. It's a key of, in key of D, 22 inches. You got six holes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, you don't use the pinky for this particular flute. And this is the the hole you blow into. As you can see, I've been playing with it. It's got condensation in here. And this nice, beautiful, flowery pattern. Dill, I think they call it. So, before we learn how to play song with this thing, let's see if we can make sound out of this thing. So, the simplest thing that you can do is called floating the flute. Floating the flute. So, basically, you pick the flute, and you move and you form a stream in your mouth like you are blowing out, or blowing off or blowing out a candle like for birthday yeah. hold that so you form a steady stream of air and as you do that as you're doing that you move the flute closer to your mouth until you, until you make a sound so watch this See this? Uh, you move it close enough, like blowing into a straw, and then uh, you start to make a sound. So, once you, the reason why you want to flow the flute is, is you, you want to find the proper angle in which you can make a sound. So you you roll it too much forward, you got nothing. Too much inward nothing. So you can roll it and you roll the right angle then you got it made. So if you can get to this point then the rest is easy because you just have to put the finger over here. So <clears throat> hopefully <laughs> if you couldn't make noise, then you may want to pause or quit this video and uh, practice to see if, until you can make a noise, make a sound out of this. So assuming that you could do that, then you got, no, I can show you how to hold a flute. So uh, for left, for I guess right pointing people, I guess you can play the other way too. So right pointing people, you have index finger, middle finger, and mix with the middle finger. So the pinky is kind of floating. So I usually use the pinky to support the flute. When I'm playing with this note, it tends to move around with the other finger. For the right hand, again, it's three fingers. Put one here, one here, and one here. So, yeah, so looks like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? So then do the same thing. You flow the flute and you form a stream of air. And what you want to do is you want to play around with the angles and the position of the flute relative to your lips and your mouth to find the the angle the, the position that would make the best sound so as you see here the flute can go 
up and down, front and back, right? Roll in and out. You got different variables. Basically, the food can go, you know, this kind of direction. So you want to find the right position. Until you can make a sound. Now, the sound, the, this is the, high, the middle D, but you can play a lower D. So what I do is I, I move the lips a little bit further out to play the lower D. <clears throat> because you want to move your mouth just, just a little bit away from the hole to give it more air. And change the angle. A lot of people tend to roll the flute to change, to, to crank it up one octave, but but it's better to use your lift to change the angle of the stream versus rolling the flute. So those two should take these two things. One is to make you know floating flute. The other one is to get the octaves. Would probably take you a few days to practice. So if this is helpful to you, uh, give me a shout. Otherwise, uh, that's how you make noise with this thing. And once you can make a sound, then you can just play by ear. So remember, this is key of D. Next natural key is key of G. So D is all the fingers down. G is with the first three fingers because D, E, F, and G. So for G, you there's a half note somewhere. Instead of, so I have actually these three fingers, this one, this one, and this one. So, do, re, mi, fa. Instead of these three fingers, is only the middle finger for your left hand. So you can play two octaves with both the D and the G, but the G two octave is a little bit more difficult because you have to use a lot more air, more pressure, and aim it a little more precisely. So once you can master those two keys with the not chromatic scale, the regular scale, then you're in business. So hope this helped and uh, enjoy playing the flute. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll try to answer it. See you later. Bye.